Good day to all, dear subscribers and viewers of the channel. Vitaly Sokolov with you. Probably many of you have played pixel games from game consoles to modern pixel computer games, which are still popular today. Some of them host streams and tournaments with prize money. Have you ever wanted to create your own pixel game? If yes, then the game engine, which we will talk about today, can help you with this. And before we get started, don't forget to put your thumb up under the video, write a comment, subscribe to the channel and put a bell so you don't miss new videos. Till Engine is an open source, cross-platform, framework, graphics engine for 2D graphics with true bitmap effects and animations for retro, classic game development. Works with tiled backgrounds, sprites and palettes. The game engine was released in 2015 and is still in development. Engine developer, Megamark. The engine is written in Portable C, C99. Focused on developing games in retro style of 16-bit systems such as Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis Mega Drive. Distributed under the Mozilla Public License 2.0, that is, you can use it even in commercial closed source projects for free. The interface language is in English. I propose to consider the features of this game engine. The game engine supports the creation of 2D games of any genre. The source code of the game engine is open source and freely distributed. Tile Engine supports the following programming languages, C, C++, C Sharp, Python, Pascal, FreeBasic and Java. The game engine is cross-platform. Builds are available for the following operating systems, Windows, 3264, Linux PC, 3264, Linux ARM, Raspberry Pi, BeagleBone, Mac OS X. The compact API is designed to be easy to learn. But it also delivers impressive results with very few lines of code. Integrates into any existing framework as a subrenderer. High performance. Till Engine is high-speed native code. All samples run at 60 frames per second with CRT emulation enabled on the Raspberry Pi 3. Has built-in SDL-based windowing for quick tests with optional CRT emulation. It is possible to download resources from open standard file formats or AES encrypted packages. Works with TMX map files that are created and exported in LDTK and tiled programs. Procedural creation or modification of graphic resources at runtime is supported. Allows to implement true bitmap effects based on changing scanline rendering parameters. It can scale and rotate the background layer, scaling sprites, has several blending modes for layers and sprites, as well as calculating their collisions with each other, scrolling the game world relative to the game character, work with maps and sets of sheets and sprites, work with color using the palette and use bitmaps and you can create effects for them. Physically, the engine detects collisions with pixel precision between sprites and sprites and sprites against the background of the tile map. Several types of blending are available for transparency, lighting or shadow effects on layers and sprites. Pre-made special effects and retro effects are available, column offset, mosaic, pixel offset, CRT simulation. Scaling sprites, rotating and scaling any layer like SNES mode, 7 and Sega Super Scaler. There is a built-in sprite animation engine that allows complex loops. There is support for multiplayer. The engine developer also provides commercial support, or you can use the community forum. The engine community is large enough, so there are tutorials, documentation, game templates and examples of use. You can also find detailed documentation on the official website of the game engine. The game engine consists of a number of important modules. Types, stores general data types. Setup, stores basic setup and management. Errors, responsible for handling errors. Windowing, a module that manages windows and data entry. Sprite set, manages sprite set resources. Tile set, controls the tiling set resources for background layers. Tile map, manages the tile map resources for background layers. Palette, controls the color palette resources for sprites and background layers. Bitmap, manages bitmaps. Objects, manages the resources of the object list. Layer, responsible for managing background layers. Sprite, manages sprites. Sequence, manages sequence resources for animating layers, sprites, and palettes. Sequence Pack, is a sequence pack manager for grouping and searching sequences. Animation, responsible for the animation of the color cycle. 
world, responsible for setting up and managing the game world. Engine setup consists of three main steps. Initialization, basic engine tuning and error handling. Using the inline window. External rendering, integration into the host environment. In addition to the pluses, each project has its minuses. For example, the Tile Engine game engine supports only 2D graphics, and pixel graphics due to raster images, for example, in BMP format. But the game engine was originally focused on such graphics. Ready-made engine assemblies for different languages are paid and cost $5 each. Therefore, for free, users have to manually assemble the engine for themselves. But in general, this game engine certainly has potential. And as long as there are fans of pixelated retro games, there will be a demand for game engines of this format. I suggest you familiarize yourself with examples of games that are created on this game engine. That's all for me. I hope this video was interesting to you. If so, do not forget to put your thumb up under the video, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss anything interesting, and also write a comment. This is all important for the promotion of this channel. Good luck to everyone in all your endeavors. Vitaly Sokolov was with you. See you in the next videos.